Today is Q&A Tuesday and we will be talking about... <laughs> we will be talking about our toddlers. So um, we have um, very close gaps between our toddlers. So Peter, Peter, our firstborn, is um, three years old, and Felix is um, two years old. Fifteen months younger. Yeah. They're so they are fifteen ma fifteen months apart. So and this video is a collaboration with my friend in Australia, Cassidy. So I'm gonna link her channel here. So all of her question is exclusively for her. So she has ten questions. So hopefully we will be able to answer all of it. And where are we, darling? And oh, by the way, so we we are outside our blocks, our house where we live. If you want to see where yeah. we live properly, yeah, watch this video. There. <laughs> here. Uh, no, so um, we just filmed um, um a separate blog of. Why, where we live, where we live yeah. because um, last week our Q&A is we were, we talk about um, how is life in Hong Kong how is our life in Hong Kong so that's why this time we will be showing how is our life in yeah. Hong Kong so yeah so let's get started question um, number one question number one what is the hardest part having two under two <laughs> Hard, really hard. Everything. <laughs> no, too lots, many nappies because nappies. Um, Peter wasn't um, Peter wasn't potty trained yet when Felix was born. So a lot of nappies and a lot of. Mm. So we had help from both my parents and your parents. Yeah, your for the first month, for the first month that Felix was born, we have a lot of help from both of our parents. So because my mother-in-law and father-in-law came down here before Felix was born. Like one week before he, Felix was born, or one month? No. No, two weeks. Very, very close. Yeah, so I something forget. like that. a long that. time ago. And then the af <laughs> after a few days that Felix was born, my mom came here. So they they have um at least a month here to help us with our newborn. But yes, a lot of nappies. A lot of sleepless night. <laughs> Actually, since I was pregnant, we had we never had like sleep sleep in. Um. Even last night, yeah. we didn't sleep very well. Yeah, so when you're never gonna sleep again <laughs> properly after having a child. So, so yeah, that's it. A lot of nappies. And <laughs> sleep. Part. Lack of sleep. La yeah. yeah, a lot of nappies and lack of sleep. It's very hot. Yeah, we're outside. I'm getting bitten. Yeah, Whose idea is this to do outside? You! You said outside. <laughs> you said let's do a question answer outside. Yeah, so second question. Did you find the first few months still feel like having one child? when baby two when baby number two wasn't mobile or was it a big adjustment even at that age well even i suppose when felix was was uh not doing much just lying in his crib or sleeping um yeah we you, immediately you, to, you always have to pay attention to the baby or... yeah both different needs actually so we immediately feel hard really since i was pregnant um, but um, after baby number two was born, it's um, double up the um, the tiredness. <laughs> well, since I was pregnant, it didn't feel like we have a one child at all. Yeah, because so, because we were we didn't really do much breastfeeding, so it's bottle feeding. So we all had yeah. to make sure his bottles are ready and yeah, yeah. always the nappies and make yeah, sure and he's okay, sleeping all right, and and yeah. also taking him out. Yeah, and as um, at the first month of Felix, I noticed he was very cryy compared to Peter. Like when Peter was a baby, he doesn't cry that much. That's why one of our neighbor, when we were living in a village house, complained to our friend Not that um, I was worried. yeah, worried. <laughs> that um, telling to our friend that why Jess and Michelle's son is not crying so yeah. they think that there's something wrong with Peter but not really he's just like a very quiet nice baby but then compared to Felix he was very cryy like but that's because yeah. it's a second child maybe second child needs to get attention yeah, another I, child. but I also remember that for Peter a lot of the time he was looked after by by my parents or by your mother so you yeah. could take him out so we could uh, look after Felix yeah, so... He used to get taken to the park a lot, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we... But, yeah, we, we immediately yeah. feel the difference of having one Having a baby, two. having a child, yeah, yeah. But a baby, really. Makes sense. And question number three. How did you handle night routines for two under two? We take one each. So, because um, 
for Peter, he was very clingy to me at first. On like first year to two, he was just very clingy that he will at night he always want mommy, mommy, mommy. That's why I felt so bad for Felix because I can't go with Felix when he cry. Although I'm because I'm not breastfeeding, I can give him to Jess. So most of the time, Jess look after Felix a lot until now. So he's very daddy's boy. So even until now, he won't sleep with me. He always want daddy. So yeah, one one, one for me, one for him. So we we get some. Um, no, so, yeah. okay. But sometimes um, Peter now Peter Peter is improving. He likes um, both of us now. Well, usually for Peter, he goes to sleep in his own bedroom, mm. and I'll read him the normally not always, but normally I read the bedtime story, and then normally ask for mommy to, to put him to sleep. Normally, yeah. again sometimes I do it. Yeah. But then when he wakes up in the middle of the night, he comes to the bedroom and he wants to be cuddled by daddy normally. Yeah. With, so I'll get, I'll get in bed yeah. and get woken up then by him. Yeah, but sometimes before he climb over me, but now it changed. A few weeks ago it changed. Yeah. Know. But for Felix, he won't, he, he, I cannot put him to bed. <laughs> he always want daddy. Yeah, so he always cry for daddy. But you try. You yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> you did it once. <laughs> so, um... For number uh, question number four, what is your best advice for someone expecting to have two under two? <laughs> best advice? Uh, you you need your help from your parents, to be oh, honest, or yeah. for someone else, or for your spouse. Yeah. You really need help because it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, well, Especially when you're breastfeeding. If you are breastfeeding, I'm sure I'm not, I wasn't breastfeed. Like I only breastfeed Felix for about a month or two, and and, but then it's um, good, not a good thing, but it gives me a lot of um, help from others because they can get Felix without me needing my breast. <laughs> but <laughs> and I stop work, so basically yeah, two and, parents. Would yeah, be so because we are full-time parents. Um, so for you, if your husband is working, so you would probably be needing some of help from your friends or parents or relative for the first month or two. Especially when you are breastfeeding, I think it's gonna be very well, I don't know, difficult. All the way until the first five or six months, at least. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what you need. You need a lot of help. <laughs> you need. Question number five. How did you? Oh no, <laughs> I was really wrong. How do you share your time between the two kids? Uh, we we share both time because now they are like twins. They play together. They have the same needs. Fight together. Yeah, fight together. Eat they at the same time. Yeah, so yeah, they eat the same thing. So here's our question for number six. Did you did going from one to two children impact much on your relationship? No. Uh, I think no, but it's just that we're very tired. <laughs> very 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 tired. <laughs> Yes. Well, Michelle yeah. was tired. Then. Well, so yeah, it's like you you get um sometimes you get snapped easily because um, you get a bit grumpy sometimes. Don't yeah, we? you get grumpy easily because when you're tired, yeah, you you easily get snapped. So yeah, yeah. So we need to need to make sure we get sleep sleep as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to make sure that we we have a lot. So Jess is very actually nice. He always let me sleep in during the Not night on. or in the morning or let me an extra snooze in the morning. And sometimes, sometimes you can let me sleep in. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah. I, I let you. I let you sleep in this morning. Yeah, after yeah. you slept in first. <laughs> but I, I, Michelle, so I got up at six thirty yeah. to look after the boys. Michelle got up at eight, and then I went to back in for a half an hour snooze. Yeah. Just a bit. Yeah. You. You currently. I. I tend to be the one who gets up first in the morning to let Michelle sleep. But um, maybe sometimes we might start sharing again. Yeah, or some, or sometimes we 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 try to have um afternoon nap after go um Peter goes to school and then Felix is um napping. But um actually we tried yesterday, but then we had a horrible day yesterday. <laughs> like we were um we were ready to snooze. We were lying in bed. Felix was drinking his milk because he's still in the bottle. And then suddenly after he finished his milk, he just vomit all over us. <laughs> So it's just um yeah, this is all ruined. Our afternoon was ruined. But anyway, make sure you get sleep. Yeah, make sure you get sleep. <laughs> and look after your your spouse. Make sure they get sleep as well. Yeah. So hubby is very nice. Thank you very much, hubby. So I'm um, for seven. Question number seven. What is something you didn't expect with having two under two? Uh, I said that uh, earlier that um. When I found out that I was pregnant, 
I was um, Peter was just six months old we didn't expect anything really because he wasn't like um, running yet climbing everywhere so he was just like very quiet baby so <laughs> until <laughs> until after one year old but uh, what, what, what we didn't expect what did you not expect no, just do almost learning all over again with Felix because it wasn't the same as Peter Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you will feel, you will feel like oh it's gonna be easier because we done that with Peter something like that. But no, it's gonna be something different. Something you have to, to remember is that for the second child, things like doing the first steps or the first words aren't so exciting as for the first child. So you have to remember that later on the second child's gonna say oh when did I do my first step? When did I do my first word? So you must still try to remember to film these things or, or yeah. make a note of these 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 big moments in their life. Yeah, we actually feel sorry for Felix a little bit because on when Peter was um, was born, we were very excited and we filming him yeah, all every month I posted because when I was not vlogging yet, every month I posted um, pictures of him, nice picture of him um, on Facebook like Peter one month old one month old Peter but for Felix I always miss those and I feel really bad about it like I, I, like I wasn't excited anymore that he's turning one month or two months or three months something like that or I take less um, less picture to Felix when he was born it's because we became very busy after second child so yeah that's what we didn't expect we didn't <laughs> that we're gonna be busy as crazy as this is for a question at what age do you think two under two is the easiest? Example, when new baby isn't mobile or babies, when new baby is walking, etc. Et I don't know, when they get, I guess when they're not, when the new baby isn't mobile. When yeah. Mobile, because mobile, then you start to worry where, where they're getting to. I think for me, the easiest, easiest is um, three to six months. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I can remember, but after, after 24 months it's crazy like two years old is very very difficult for the question number nine did you bath both together or separate just mentioned that earlier so we started bathing them together when we were in England um, Felix was five months old so he cannot sit up properly yet but he he's there so my mother-in-law put him put them together and it, quite working well apart from I'm just scared that Felix might sleep or something like that but he's okay so we started um, batting them together when he was five months onwards yeah so, so yeah so, very hard now they, they enjoy bathing together yeah they, lo they love playing in the bath together also they also sometimes they fight up uh, with the same toys yes, which is something normal anyway <laughs> and last question what is the best part about having two under two they're friends they are friends and we're thinking like I'm sure they're gonna be best friends when they get old and yeah they're starting to get along together compared to the first time when Peter was just like one and a half and Peter was just a baby I think he feel the changes but now Peter um, accepted that that Felix is a uh, part of our family especially when Felix is uh, not at home or maybe he was quietly sleeping in the other room and then he come home and then he will immediately ask where is Felix where is Felix so yeah he knows that Felix is now our uh, part of our family and he's very yeah and Felix is also quite dominant attached with so, so Felix is a very dominant little one so he will he will sometimes take the initiative so again, I don't think he's going to be shadowed by Peter. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to be equals. Yeah, they, they got a very different personality because uh, some of the siblings like other will just um very dominant or something like that. But for Felix and Peter, they are just... Yeah, about right. About yeah, right. they're just about right. Yeah. But they're still young. So let's see, as, as Felix's language improves, mm. uh, yeah, I think, I think that that's nice to watch the two ones become friends. Yeah. And the thing about it is just that because Peter started speaking when he was 10 months old, like he can say mom, his first word is daddy, he can say daddy, something like that, ball. but for Felix, we feel like a bit, he's a bit late, he's just starting his words after one and a half years old, but then we, we, we felt like because um, Peter's dominating it, like whenever we spend time with Felix, 
and then talk to him, try to talk to him. It's Peter answering the question. <laughs> so it's like, what's your name? He's Felix, <laughs> like that. So he, but now he's um he he's improved. He's improving because he's starting to teach Felix in Cantonese words that what he ever learned in his school, he will just um apply it to Felix. Like Felix say yat ye some. So he's starting to um teach Felix um what he, what he ever um learned in school. So yeah. Got some shout outs. We got some shout outs before we started to get burned. <laughs> Hobby starting to her yep. hobby starting to get burned. We have a have um yeah, get beaten a lot of not mosquito but a lot of mo what do you call that? I think it's mosquitoes. Is yeah. it? Okay, so let's do the shout outs and then So we're gonna do the shout out from Very hot, must be about twenty seven degrees, twenty eight so degrees. So from Kari from Karina. Hi Karina. So she's gonna be giving birth soonish, but this weekend she'll gonna do her um, what do you call that baby shower? So good luck on that. Um, she's about 37 weeks, 36 weeks. So very, very close. Sleep well yeah. now. Get your you, sleep you should watch this video. Get your <laughs> but, sleep. Yeah, get your sleep. I told her about that because you will never gonna get sleep again after having our child. So that's hi Karina in Australia, and I'm gonna link her channel here from Looks by Nahima. So. I wish I live in another country sometimes because it would be really nice to experience new things and learn new languages and cultures and such. Really great Q&A. Thank you. Okay, what country are you uh, from? Yeah, and... 24 family, hello. Um, wow, three languages. I wish I could learn second language. Elliot, pee on me in the face for wash review video. <laughs> Okay, yeah, for because that video we had last week, Felix beat on me, okay. and I did one. Yeah, uh, Olivia. Olivia says I wasn't aware of those stereotypes. Sorry, you have to deal with that and racism. You have a great positive attitude towards life. Agreed. New Zealand is a great place to live. I should know. Okay. Are you from Australia? New Zealand. It's I, New Zealand. Sorry. I, no, I thought Olivia was in New Zealand. I didn't. I, I thought Olivia was from. <laughs> Sorry, Jewish, but hello, Olivia. Thank you. Thank you for the comments. And last one. Never call up someone from New Zealand, Australia, <laughs> darling. Last Never. one. So she's also my fellow expat mom. She lives in Ecuador. She's from the US, but she lives in Ecuador. She's raising her family abroad. So living and raising my family abroad has been a such great experience for me. Thank you for making this video. I can't wait to see more. So thank you very much. I'm going to link all their channels here. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye, guys.